You won't believe this sleek supersonic jet is actually a trainer, but the KIT-50 Golden Eagle can dogfight, strike targets, and dominate the skies like a true fighter. Welcome to the next-gen world, where today we reveal why South Korea's T-50 isn't just a training aircraft, it's a combat-ready beast that's changing the game in military aviation. Born from a strategic partnership between Korea Aerospace Industries KI, and Boeing, the T-50 Golden Eagle was designed to be more than just a high-speed classroom. It's South Korea's first indigenous supersonic aircraft, and it's already turning heads around the globe. Developed with cutting-edge avionics, fighter-like performance, and the ability to fire live weapons, the T-50 is now being adopted not just as a trainer, but as a fully operational light combat aircraft. Let's start with its performance. The T-50 is powered by a single General Electric F-404 engine, the same type that powered legacy fighters like the F-A-18 Hornet. This means it can hit speeds of Mach 1.5, cruise at high altitudes, and perform advanced aerial maneuvers with incredible precision. In other words, this isn't just a jet for rookies. It's capable of keeping up with frontline fighters during combat exercises. Its agility is one of its biggest assets. The T-50 has a fly-by-wire system that allows for extreme maneuverability, giving both trainees and seasoned pilots the edge during aggressive air-to-air -air simulations or real combat scenarios. The jet's lightweight frame, paired with advanced aerodynamics, means it can turn on a dime, evade threats, and deliver pinpoint strikes. And it's not just about flight characteristics. What really sets the T-50 apart is its high-tech avionics suite. Inside the cockpit, pilots are treated to a full glass display, digital fly-by-wire controls, a wide field of view head-up display, HUD, and multi-function displays that mirror those of frontline aircraft like the F-16. In fact, the T-50 was deliberately designed to mimic the F-16 systems, making the transition for pilots seamless when moving from training to active duty combat roles. Then there's the weaponry. The T-50 isn't just for mock dogfights. The F-A-50 variant, its light fighter version, can carry a wide range of weapons, AM-9 Sidewinders, precision-guided bombs, AGM-65 Maverick missiles, and even radar-guided missiles depending on the loadout. Add to that its internal 20mm cannon, and you've got a jet that can train today and defend tomorrow. This dual-role flexibility is why the T-50 is being adopted by countries beyond South Korea. The Philippines, Iraq, Indonesia, and Thailand have all acquired T-50 variants, recognizing their value as both cost-effective trainers and frontline defense solutions. In fact, in combat zones like Marawi in the Philippines, the F-A-50 variant was used for actual airstrikes, proving it's more than capable of frontline duty. Its export appeal is also driven by affordability. Compared to high-end fighters like the F-35 or even legacy aircraft like the F-16, the T-50 offers a lower operational cost, ease of maintenance, and simpler logistics. And that's exactly what developing air forces need, a platform that's powerful but not prohibitively expensive. Let's also talk about training capabilities. The T-50 bridges the gap between basic training and advanced combat readiness. It's a lead in fighter trainer, lift, which means it prepares pilots to step into fourth and fifth generation fighters like the F-16, F-15, or even the F-35. Pilots don't just learn to fly, they learn to fight. KI and Boeing also didn't stop with just the trainer. They've developed several variants. T-50, the base model for advanced training. T-50, armed for light attack and combat training. F-A-50, fully equipped light combat aircraft. T-50B, aerobatic variant used by the South Korean Air Force's Black Eagles demonstration team. This family of aircraft gives Air Forces the flexibility to build full-scale operations around a common platform, minimizing training costs and maximizing mission readiness. From training cadets to patrolling airspace, the Golden Eagle covers it all. It also plays a strategic role for South Korea. In a region with rising geopolitical tensions, having an indigenous, combat-ready platform gives the nation more control over its defense capabilities. Unlike fully imported aircraft, the T-50 can be built, maintained, and upgraded at home, ensuring that South Korea's air power remains both sovereign and scalable. Looking ahead, KI is pushing for even more upgrades. The Block 20 FA-50, recently ordered by Poland, will come equipped with an ASA radar, in-flight refueling, 
advanced electronic warfare systems, and even expanded weapon compatibility, bringing it closer to fourth-generation fighter capability at a fraction of the cost. It's no surprise, then, that the T-50 is being seen as a game-changer. It's faster than most trainers, more capable than many light fighters, and affordable enough for developing nations to field at scale. And with strong backing from Boeing, it's set to continue growing its global footprint. In short, the KIT-50 Golden Eagle proves that a jet doesn't have to be massive to be powerful. It's sleek, fast, deadly, and smart, an aircraft that trains the next generation of pilots while being combat-ready itself. Thanks for watching the Next Gen World. If you're into cutting-edge defense tech, supersonic aircraft, and global air power stories, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Because here, the future always flies faster.